Hey good fellas, Samuel Nalde here and we are at Style of Zug. Today in this video we're going to discover the must-have writing instruments that you should have in your collection and that you can't go wrong with. I get loads of DMs on Instagram asking me, Samuel, which pen should I start with? What should I buy? How should I put together my collection? This video here is exactly about showing you the pen models that are iconic in the industry and that will make you feel that you're building a collection that is really worth it. You know good fellas, for me it's always highly important that you don't overbuy. And if you start with this passion, you start buying and you get into that fever of purchasing pens, then make sure that it's pens that you're not going to regret having. And after this video, you'll know about pretty much all pens that should be part of your writing instrument collection. We're gonna talk, we're gonna talk mostly about regular edition, so not the limited edition ones. Limited edition is gonna be a separate video if you're looking to start a collection within the limited edition range in pens. And listen, there's a very important thing to say. You know that we as Style of Zug here, we're retailers of fine writing instruments. But it is always extremely important for me to be intellectually correct towards my viewers. So while at Style of Zug, we obviously carry all brands that we believe in from a model and product point of view, but also from a strategic point of view for the future, there are a few models that we don't carry at Style of Zug that I also will be mentioning in this video. Also, good fellas, before we start remember that on this channel we speak about high-end writing instruments and as you know I always suggest you to maybe save a bit more but then go for that writing instrument that you will enjoy forever you know at the end of the day it will cost you more to buy four less expensive writing instruments than buying that one writing instrument that you will enjoy forever for the attention the care and material selection it is made with but okay I have already spoken enough let's start together I won't be following a clear structure. Daddy will be handing me out the pens here and I will just tell you which models they are, what I think about them. And it's gonna be a bit of a fast moving video because I mean, we have at least 23 pen models to cover in this video. So, you know, we don't want it to be 50 minutes. I'll show mostly fountain pens, but don't forget most of these pens also come as a rollerball and as a ballpoint. So if you're looking to start with a rollerball or a ballpoint, then these models most probably are the right pick for you. One, Graf von Faber Castell. Magnum ink occasion wood, beautiful with an 18 karat gold nib. It's one of the newest models of Grafen Faber Castell. Oversized, it's a beautiful piece to own and to have as part of a collection. Then, number two, obviously, you cannot not have the Mont Blanc 149. This is the El Presidente cigar shaped pen, also oversized with a marvelous 18 karat gold nib, two tone, piston filling mechanism, priced between 930 and 150. 50 Swiss francs. It's one of those pens that you always crave for. Even me, you know, being in this industry and selling writing instruments. When I look at the 149, it's always a beauty. Number three, Carondash Le Mans. So this is the Swiss made brand based in Geneva. It comes in so many different colors and guillage with the translucent lacquering, with the Douai kind of look. And I mean, they're so, so well made. They're all fitted with an 18 karat gold nib and they obviously also come as a rollerball and as a ballpoint some of them even as a mechanical pencil. You can't go wrong with a Carondash Le Mans. Number four, Scribo Feel, brand from Bologna. The Feel is an absolutely iconic model. I love from Scribo that they only have three models, this being the real flagship model of the brand, and they always release new colors. So what I love about them is the fact that you always have the same kind of shape, the same kind of design, but then you always get a new kind of suit on the pen. Plus the writing experience and the nip selection are out of this world, one of the best writing experiences you can get even in the flex range, and it's a piston filling mechanism, and even price-wise it runs for about 750 Swiss francs. Number five, Sailor, king of pen. Doesn't really matter if you decide to go for a resin version that is about 1033 Swiss francs with a 21 karat gold nib, or if you decide to go for the ebonite version, which to be honest I really really suggest because I mean you get that material that changes over time. It's priced at around 1,175 francs. Or you decide to go for the Urushi lacquered one, which are a bit higher in price for the obvious kind of work that is behind the pens itself. But hey, when you have a Sailor King of pen and then it's in Urushi, 
And as a matter of experience, I can tell you that it's a one-of-a-kind experience with that very nice, bouncy and pretty much flexible 21 karat gold in-house made name by Sailor. Number six, Namiki number 20. And obviously this model here comes in Vermillon and in Black Urushi. No discussion, you need them both in a collection. But if you're starting with one of these, you're going for real holy grails of the industry. 18 karat gold nib, you can fill it up with a cartridge and converter. It's in Urushi, as I just mentioned, so there are several layers of lacquering. Priced at 1,700 Swiss francs. It's one of those pens that most of my collectors have both pens, and even of the one that I'm gonna show you later on. Number seven, Monte Grappa Extra 1930. Comes in different kind of celluloids. They're now slightly changing the collection because there is not that much celluloid left anymore, so I highly suggest to go for a Monte Grappa Extra 1930 in celluloid now that you still can and I mean it's an iconic writing instrument with all metal parts being in 925 sterling silver 18 karat gold nib piston filling mechanism runs for about 1400 Swiss francs 1450 Swiss francs it's one of those models that I truly truly love actually wait I have mine here this is our Kirsch edition in cherry wood it's a model that I absolutely adore and that you will never regret having number eight Otto Hood Design 08. Comes in gold, comes in black, comes in ruthenium. This is one of those models that I think are one of the best models in the industry. Again, I would own all three models, designed by Mark Brown, made with high-end materials. The way how this writing instrument is made is out of this world, 18 karat gold nib, super, super smooth, with a pull and twist filling mechanism, wonderful writing instrument with an amazing weight, priced at around 1,400 Swiss francs. I mean, you know that this is one of my favorite writing instruments. Number nine, Mont Blanc Meisterstück Le Grand. After seeing the 149, we have to talk about the Le Grand, which comes in three metal finishings. It comes in gold, in platinum plate, in rose gold. Depending on the metal finishing, it's between 705 Swiss francs and 720 Swiss francs. Piston filling mechanism with an ink window, 14 karat gold nib, amazing writing instruments, a classic one. I have several of this in my collection and I always love the fact that I have it because of the relevance and the importance of probably the best seller luxury fountain pen available on the market nowadays. Number 10, Visconti Homo Sapiens. I remember when they released this model and I mean it was really something out of the ordinary. Lava stone from the Etna Vulcano mixed with resin. The material actually will get a patina over time. It also comes in bronze which by the way is my favorite but this is the dark age with an 18 karat gold nib in this case in black PVD with a power filler filling mechanism. Look at this. Super super cool. It's iconic also because of this opening system that they have. Bayonet kind of closing system. If you're looking to start with a Visconti then this is the model that you should start with. Number 11. A brand that we don't carry at the store. Aurora. And it's the Aurora Optima. I mean the Aurora Optima is one of those iconic models. It's a piston filling mechanism. It has an ink window. 18 karat gold nib. In-house made in Torino. And therefore is one of those models that you can definitely consider to start with and then move from there and continue building your beautiful writing instrument collection. Now, good fellas, there are another 12 pens that I'm going to show you, 12 really stunning pieces. But before I show them, I'd just like to kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel. Currently, 77% of you watching this video haven't subscribed to the channel yet. You probably just forgot about it. So if you're enjoying this video, why don't you consider to hit that button and you won't miss on future content that is coming up. Thank you so much and welcome to this amazing community. Number 12. 12, Namiki Aya. This is one of the latest regular editions that Namiki has launched. After having the number 20 and the number 50, which I'm gonna be showing you later, spoiler, this is one that comes pretty much in between. It's priced at 3,600 Swiss francs. It comes with some Maki A design and drawings on it. Four versions available. Beautiful size, very big. It is fitted with an 18 karat gold nib taking the shape of the Pilot Custom Urushi, but obviously with with the iconic Mount Fuji embossing on the nib. And from Namiki Aya, we go over to another iconic writing instrument, which we don't carry at Style of Zug, and I'm talking about the Nakaya Dorsal Fan. So the Dorsal Fan is a beautiful writing instrument made by Nakaya in Japan, mostly urushi lacquered or even with a minuri technique, and it has this incredible shape, which is really out of the ordinary, definitely a piece that I can suggest having in your collection, and you absolutely won't regret 
regret this being one of those writing instruments that are part of your amazing pen collection. Number 14, finally it's back, Delta Dolce Vita. An iconic model with this kind of colors, the orange and the black, marmorized body, 18 karat oversized nib with a beautiful in-house made ebonite feed. It's a cartridge converter. It's a marvelous writing instrument. It's a writing instrument that must be part of your collection. I just bought one for myself with a fine nib and many of my collectors just did in the last two weeks. So finally Delta is back and we're happy making the Delta Dolce Vita oversize one of those must-haves of this industry. Then I haven't forgot it, no, Pelican M1000 or Pelican M800. These models come in different colors, amazing writing experience, 18 karat gold nib, piston filling mechanism invented by Theodore Kovac. It's one of those writing instruments that once you've gone with a Pelican, you pretty much can go back and must be part of an awesome pen collection. Then Lamy 2000. Doesn't matter if you decide to go for the steel one or for the black one, it is fitted with an 18 karat gold nib. It's a piston filling mechanism, even with an ink window, marvelous writing instruments to start with. I mean, at this price point, we're talking about 271 francs for this one and 375 Swiss francs for this one. You are going for something that is price worthy, but also one of those must have iconic designs made in this industry. Then number 17, Grafon Faber Castell, classic in wood. It comes in ebony wood. It comes in Makassar with black metal trims. It comes in Pernambuco Grenadilla with an 18 karat gold nib cartridge converter filling mechanism made in Germany, marvelous writing instrument next to the Magnum. You want to have also the Graf Fabric Castell Classic, Classic, because I mean, it's just such a wonderful writing instrument. Comes as a roller ball, as a ball point, as a mechanical pencil. So whatever you desire to have of this collection, you're gonna get. Number 18, Namiki. Emperor, I mean number 50, comes in black urushi, also comes as a vermillon. Again, you should have this writing instrument. It has such an amazing huge nib with an urushi lacquered feed. It's a night dropper filling mechanism. It's one of those pens that every time you open up one of your collector drawers, you'll just say, wow, what is this? And then obviously after mentioning the 40 Le Mans, we cannot forget the 40 Varius. What makes this model iconic is the fact that it comes in many different materials. So within all those materials, you will find the writing instrument that you will personally adore. This is the Rob Razor here, but it comes in carbon fiber, it comes in china lacquering, it comes in wood. That makes this collection really, really iconic and it makes it really something that every time you pick the pen and you consider which materials have been used and the amount of craftsmanship that they have used for it, you're really like, wow, this is something. Number 20, Design 07. This is the black edition, but it obviously comes also in 925 sterling silver, 18 karat gold nib. It's a cartridge converter writing instrument, one of the flagship collection of Otto Hut, one pen that for size and weight and balance, you will adore using. Number 20, I don't know if you expected this one, Monte Grappa Venetia. Personally, I love this shape. It's 730 Swiss francs, but what a design. I'm not sure how long they're gonna have this around. So I highly suggest to think about the Venetia and making it part of your collection. It's a vintage inspired design, so that already makes it kind of iconic. It's not one of those pens that you have seen throughout the time so much, but it's one of those pens that having in your collection, you will pick up you will probably be one of the very few owning this writing instrument and you will say, wow, it's good that I took this piece. So Monte Grappa Venetia, I really wanted it to make it one of the iconic pieces of the industry. Number 22, I haven't forgot about it. Pilot Custom Urushi. Comes in black Urushi or also in Vermillon, priced at 1,490 Swiss francs with a beautiful big nib, very nice to write with, two-tone, made in Japan, oversized, so between between the number 20 and the number 50 of Namiki. As I mentioned, the Namiki Aya has the same nib stamp like Pilot Custom Urushi. Then the embossing on the nib itself, the decoration on the nib is different. Then we have arrived at the last one. Thank you, Dario, for helping me out with this one. And we have arrived at 
Est du Pont Line de Lard. Made in France, lacquering, amazing well-made riding instrument. This is the rollerball, but obviously the fountain pen is absolutely awesome with that typical Est du Pont nib shape. Nice size, elegant French design, definitely an icon of the industry. Now guys, fellas, you know that most of these models come in different kind of colors, materials, so whatever you decide to go for in terms of colors, of addition, of finishing, if we're talking about these models, you are absolutely going for one of the classic of the industry. It's really up to you to decide which one you prefer most. To make an example, you can decide to go for the Mont Blanc Meisterstück Le Grand, or you can decide to go for the Mont Blanc Meisterstück Solitaire Glacier. You're still going for a Meisterstück. In this case, you have decided which pattern, which price point also you wanted to spend, but you have an absolute must have. And now, good fellas, it's your turn. I'd really like to know which one of these models you prefer prefer most and if you agree with the selection that I have created here, remember whenever you post a comment under one of our videos, you're conversating with like-minded people that really love and appreciate the craftsmanship behind a fine writing instrument. And that, to be honest, is an amazing asset that only us game changers of the pen industry have. Thank you so much for watching and as always, don't forget that together we are changing the game.